everybody, I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to Nino Kuni, The Wrath of the White Witch. Today is episode 15, you join us here in Alma Moon, where me and Drippy are going to go and get a Babana split. <laughs> Sorry, it's been about a week since the last episode, I just had a lot of problems like microphones breaking and going away for Valentine's and EA press conferences and all that sort of stuff, so it's been craziness, but we've got an episode today. Excuse me, oh. are you Mr. Rashad? Yes, I am. Oh. Mr. Rashad, sir, I need you to teach me magic. I need you to teach me the most powerful spells there are, so I can defeat Shadar. <gasps> defeat Shadar? You? What? Yes, sir. Your journey has been wasted. I no longer practice the magic arts. Come on. Huh? But why not? I thought you were one of the four great sages who knows everything there is to know about magic. It matters not what I was. I use magic no more. Who are we looking at? Oh, her! Is she... What do you want? Oh. Who are you? <laughs> Jeepers. Poor thing's broken hearted, looks like. Yeah. <sighs> Should I have stole a piece of her heart? It was my fault. What? I defied him and to punish me, he did this. Why didn't he take a piece of your that heart? That is why I fight no longer. I cannot risk my child's life. I will not. We must accept our fate and live out our days in peace. Wait, what? Mr. Rashad, sir, you're wrong. She wouldn't want this. <clears throat> She's not in pain because a piece of her heart was stolen. It's because you gave up fighting. Uh-huh. Because you gave up on everything. That's why she's in pain. Hmm. You are sure of this? Yes, I am. Big words. I see. I see now that you would say anything to enlist my aid. Huh? Oh. Be gone! <laughs> You're making a mistake. I wasn't trying to... I love Drippy's shocked face. I was like, what? Well, he wasn't wrong. It looks like Shadar's stolen a part of the poor dab's heart. Then we have to help her. We have to make her heart whole again. Uh-huh. Nah, looks like I said this is different. Huh? Huh? Her heart's not just broken, it's closed. Closed? What? What does that mean? It's like this, see? She's not just had a part of her heart stolen, she's closed it up tight too, to keep the rest safe like. So, before we can think about replacing what's missing, we'll have to open it back up again, innit? And how do we do that? We go to your world. If we find whoever she's connected to by there, we can work out what's going on with her by her. So we head over you away and find her soulmate. Oh, I know her soulmate is. All right, let's do it. It's Starry Mary. <laughs> right on, back to your world it is. Let's do it. Let's get some gateway up in this business. We got a hootique here as well. Let me just see what the hootique sells over here. Oh, I wonder if old Granny Hoot is here. Of course she is, look at her. Hmm, who's there? Oh, hello. Who can I help you today? We have a huge range of goods on offer, from Alma Moon's famous Babanus to items exotic enough to make your head turn right around. Hoo -hoo. Right, let's have a look. Uh, anything cool? We got some chocolate. Whoa, is that like a dragon egg? A dumpty egg? Well, that turned into like a familiar or something. We <laughs> got like a, a Humpty Dumpty type of familiar. I'm not sure. I'll be seeing you soon. Yeah, maybe you will. Most likely you won't, though. I can't open that, can I? That's a big chest. Oh, I can. Sandwich. Thank you very much. Right, let's get outside so we've got enough uh, space to cast gateway. I also need to equip Sappy with a spear as well. Because I looked through the comments from the last recording session. Because this is a brand new recording session today, by the way. And uh, the only thing you've said is that I need to give uh, Sappy the thing. Where are we looking? Oh, yes. Definitely give you evasion. Because you're my evader in the group, Sappy. There you go. Ta-da! Oh, whoa, ding. Nice stuff. And accuracy as well. Well, we need to give that to probably Kangi. There you go. Kangi's doing all right. So, yeah, if I bail out of this menu and go to items, maybe, I should be able to give the uh, the frosted spear that we collected in the in the woods. There it is. Uh, how do I collect? Uh, oh, no. How do I collect? There we go. Okay, cool. Then I click on sappy, weapons, and spear. There we go. Yeah, we picked that up in the golden grove not so long ago. Right. What's the button? I've not played it for that long. I've forgotten what the keys are. <laughs> right, gateway. Let's go. Back to your world, honey boy, isn't it? Ho -ho! 
All right. Make sure nobody sees us doing that. <laughs> so where's the start? Uh, what? Where to start the search, eh? You remember how this works, Enter Dolly Boy? It's all about spotting the similarities. Somewhere around my ear is someone who's similar to young Esther in some way. Now, what girls do you know? Oh, Ollie's a bit of a player, isn't he? He knows all the ladies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I don't really talk to girls. I mainly talk to Phil. Well, Phil's a bit of a girl sometimes as well. <laughs> Crikey! Well, that's no good, is it? How are we going to do this then? Um, <laughs> there's somebody you must remind him. Can't quite put your finger on it, is it? Never mind. If brain work won't work, leg work will. Let's go for a stroll around town and see if we can spot Esther's soulmate. That way, shall we? Uh, okay, cool. Let's go, Mr. Drippy. Let's go find the girl. Now, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Scary Mary. I mean, there is a star on the map, but we'll go our own way. Whoa, mind the taxi. <laughs> oh, no, that takes you out of the town. My bad. Let's go down this way. Now, she was by the garage, wasn't she? She was by Phil's garage. So if we head down that way, that's where her house is. So unless she's in her window... She'll have to let her hair down like Rapunzel to let us in. Or is she chilling around here? Let's have a look. Uh, so that's the garage. Uh, what's up, man? You having a nice time thinking about girls, is it? <laughs> nice. I love how, like, laddie. He should be on, like, uni lad, the Facebook page. That's the one I look at. But yeah, Drippy should properly be on there. From my window, eh? Sounds like a proper shrinking violet. <laughs> All right, where are we going? That's the window. There she is, look. Stary Mary. Oh, that's her, yeah. Flipping that collie boy. Why didn't you think of her straight away? She's the spitting image of a man. Well, I guess she is. Of who? Who do you flipping think, you blockhead? The great sage's daughter, ain't it? The one who's obviously been flipping the soulmate. Oh, uh, is that obvious? Oh, yeah, I thought it was. Ollie's a little bit slow, isn't he? He doesn't talk to girls, so... Whatever. Never underestimate the razor sharp eye of a fairy, my boy. <laughs> spot a peck, uh, spot, spot a speck of dust onto her head. What on the head of a pin? I could. All oh, right. So he's just saying he's got good eyesight. I was like, what the hell is he on about? <laughs> anyway, it's her, and no mistake. Let's go and barge our way into her bedroom. Ah, uh, what do you mean? Okay, that's not a thing normal people say and do. You don't just waltz into a young girl's bedroom. Even if you're a young boy, I'm still pretty messed up. Don't we like have to ask permission from my mother first? We just go and knock on the door and go, Is Mary coming out to play today? And then you do that. I remember that when people used to go, Oh, should we go call for this person? You never actually picked up a phone. You just went to their front door. They always have that awkward conversation with their parents. Especially when they're grounded as well. <laughs> oh dear. There's no answer at the door. Oh! Is something the matter? Oh, okay. She doesn't see Drippy, does she? I hope not. <laughs> we need to speak to Mary. Oh, her name's Myrtle. Sorry, I, never thought, I could have sworn it was Mary. You must be awfully worried about her. Why? She hasn't just lost a parent as well, has she? Um, oh, Myrtle's family. Oh, God, what's happened between Myrtle's family? Her father works every hour of every single day. Nothing but work, work, work. He's never at home anymore. Such a shame. Rusty was always such a devoted father. But something happened and he changed. I heard him shouting at them through the walls. What? Bit of a domestic going on here. Jesus. I don't know how poor Betty copes, let alone young Myrtle. Right, hold on a second. Uh, that's right, dear. He's Rusty's wife and she's every bit as devoted to him as she always was. So, let me get this straight. Are we going to have to fix his heart as well? Maybe he's actually the great sage's soulmate as well. That would be weird. Um, bring his lunch down to him at the garage. Alright, so she doesn't actually live that far. Why can't she just, like, throw it out the window to him if he works at the garage? Ah, oh, she puts all the love into them sandwiches. Bless her. Um, poor, poor Betty. I have half a mind to tell that rusty Cartwright just how lucky he is. <laughs> Jeepers! Just listen to me gossiping on and on. Okay, never mind. I know, she's discussing a lot with a kid. Usually, like, adults won't tell kids anything. Just say, oh, you know, they're, they're falling out over Xbox again. They've just been playing a bit too much of this. Uh, Clikey, sounds like things are none too rosy in that Cartwright household, eh? Uh, I guess not. We can't just leave her there, though. We've got to help her out. Poor Myrtle. Ah, that's easier said than done, Ollie boy. She's not coming out for a chat, and we're not going to get in unless we go mac uh, magic in the door open. So can we use magic? I'm the only one who knows how. I'm the only one who can go in there and speak to her. Ah, uh, are you sure you want to be doing this, man? Oh, okay. 
Uh, it's a bit of a strange one, just busting into somebody's house. <laughs> this really isn't promoting a good message. We have to help Myrtle. Otherwise, she'll be left staring out a window forever all alone. <laughs> That's justification enough for a bit of breaking and entering in my book. Let's get in there. <laughs> wow. Trippy's such a bad influence. He wants us to chat up girls. He wants us to bust through doors. Oh, my God. All right, spring lock. Let's get in here. Oh, it won't open. Eh? That's proper weird. A rubbish little lock like that should have popped on done easy peasy. Mmm. What does that mean? <laughs> What's he doing? Is he like passing gas? <gasps> it's this door, man! There's an evil power protecting it. Your spell didn't fail. It was repelled by malevolent force. Okay. Must be the girl, isn't it? Uh, she's the soulmate of a sage's daughter, after all. Okay. I'll tell you what we don't do. Carry on trying to get in by your front door. It's not exactly polite just barging into people's houses anyway. Oh, yeah, now you finally say it. Jesus Christ. So where the hell are we going next? Where the, where's the map telling us to go? Bit of R1. So we're going to the garage instead, all right. Does that dog attack us, by the way? Oh, it's P. Hold on a minute. What's she doing? <laughs> what are you doing, P? Wait, hold on a minute. Why does not Drippy see her? <laughs> eh? What the flipping heck's going on? I don't know. Why's P gone over there? She's not going to open the door for us, is she? She's pretty handy. There we go. Ollie, you have to go in there. What, what are you talking about? Have you opened it? Let's try again. It's open. Of course P managed to open it. <laughs> How the flip? Did you do another spell on it or something? Uh, no, it was P. And of course now she's gone. Does Trippy never see P then? <laughs> never mind all that. Let's get in there, shall we? There's a damsel in distress up there, man. All right, let's go. Let's see how she's doing. Oh, she's like, uh... Who are you? My name is Oliver. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. I'm a kid from right here in Motorville. Just like you. I know. I've seen you. You have? I've been watching you. I'm sick. I can't leave this room. Oh. If I go outside, it hurts. What? So all I can do is look out at the world from my window. That's why they call us Steady Mary. <laughs> Don't worry, man. No one can hear me by you. I can talk as loud as I want. Yes, that's why they call me Steady Mary. Wait, what? Oh, Tricky, can she hear me? That's what they call me around here. But you knew that already, huh? I think it's just. Uh, I think it's coincidence. I, I don't think she heard it. I bet you think I'm weird, don't you? No, I, I don't. It's okay. I don't mind. You should go before my father comes home. Because uh, he's proper crackers. <laughs> Oi, come here a sec. This is proper weird. I've looked as hard as I know how, but she doesn't seem sick at all. She's as fit as a fiddle, in fact. You mean, you can tell? I'm Lord High Lord of the Fairies, and I, of course I can tell. So what is wrong with her? Well, whatever sickness she had might be gone, but something still got a hold over the poor dab. Hmm. What is it? Oh, um, uh, nothing. I'm gonna come see you again. Okay, Myrtle? Huh? Well, if you can't leave your room, I'll come to you instead. That way we can be friends. Uh, How does that sound? Oliver. Sure, I'll be friends with someone who just broke into my home. You can't. Huh? What? My father won't allow it. You should leave. But Myrtle. I don't understand what's going on here. It's just like you said, Mr. Drippy. It's almost like Myrtle and Esther are the same person. And it, though. They could be twins, man. I knew they were soulmates at the moment I laid eyes on her. But she ain't broken-hearted. There's something else stopping her from getting better. Uh, must be her parents. Her family is... Ah, uh, if that old gossip is to be believed, yeah? Sounds like her folks ain't too, uh, getting on too well. But her family squabbles really the kind of thing we want to get mixed up in, Ollie Boy? Well, if it means that we can get the Great Sage on our side, I'll do anything. I don't care. Uh, maybe not, but we have to help Myrtle. 
Family is important. It's everything. Oh, there's the positive message. So we've got a balance here <laughs> in Nino Kuni. We've got breaking and entering is okay if you're a wizard. And we've got family is important. It's a, it's a good mix. Well played, level five. <laughs> well played, Ghibli. Well, since you put it like that, go on then. Let's have the poor dab out. Next stop, Rusty Shop. All right, let's go. So we're going to go to an, a guy who works in this shop. Probably going to be the great sage's soulmate. And we're going to tell him to stop being a douche. Don't know how well this is going to go down, but <laughs> we'll see how it turns out. There we go. Let's have a look. This here must be Rusty's garage. I've got a bad feeling in my lantern about this. You better make sure you're ready. In, uh, you're good and ready before you go in. Uh, what? We're not going to have like a battle here, are we? Well, I'm alright on the health front. I've got some food, have I, to eat, just in case we're going to get into a battle. Yeah, I've got 100 HP, 30 HP. Got loads of iced coffee to replenish mana. Everybody is kitted out. No more treats to be given out. Got some spring water. And we've got all the special bits as well. Yeah, cool. I'm ready for anything he throws at me. Let's go. Oh, God, what's that? Somebody could do with some Axe body spray. Or links for the British audience. <laughs> Aye, this must be Rusty's garage, eh, Ollie boy? And that must be him over by there. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Are you Myrtle's father? I came to ask about her. Can't you see I'm busy? Beat it, kid. Eh? What's that swirling around him? Nah, can't be. Oh, God, here she comes with the sandwiches. Hello. God, she looks like a lot, my, lot like my mum, doesn't she? I think. Can't remember what she looks like. She's been dead for that long now. Honey, I brought your lunch. Ah, uh, not this again. I'm not hungry, all right? But honey, if you don't eat, you'll get sick. Right, that's it, woman. I told you before, I'm not hungry. Oh, no, the salmon's getting everywhere. Oh, let me pick it. God, he's such a dick. All right, just look after yourself. Please. God. What a knob. What a knob. So that was Myrtle's mum. You two, get out of here before I throw you out. Uh, but sir. Oh, snap, look at him. He's got red eyes. Cranky, look at those eyes. Broken as heck his heart is. He's heartbroken, but he's not from this world. What? Let's worry about that later. For now, we know what the problem is. We need to mend Rusty's broken heart, innit? Uh, I guess we do. Don't worry, sir. We're going to help you. Oh, snap. You're kidding me. A flipping nightmare? Now we're for it. A nightmare? What are you talking about? Like a bad dream? Nah, man. Much worse. A nightmare is an evil spirit that latches onto broken hearted. Uh, see that black misty stuff? That's how you know. Knickers! The mist is getting darker! That means only one thing, and it ain't good news, Ollie boy! Oh, snap. Here we go. Oh my god! Whoa, hold on a second, we're in another realm! What is going on here? Oh, snap! Down goes Rusty. No. That's not, nah, that's not Shadar, is it? Rusty's Nightmare, a void of kindness. God, that's the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in my life. Jesus. All right. Ollie, let's get some attacks in first. Frostbite. There you go. Cool. Now, I don't know what's going to work well against this mob, so I may as well try different ones out. Let's go for, uh, let's go for a bit of stripping to begin with. There you go. Oh, what's he throwing those out for? Let's make sure we don't collect those, eh? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Balls. Okay. Ow, bloody hell. Yeah, that's not favourable. Now, a lot of people told me before that they want me to stop using cut loose as much, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, cool. Uh, oh, defend. Oh, God. Still, uh, hold, hold, hold. Right, hard heart. What's that going to do? All right, good to block. Good block, Strippy. He's suffering from poison, though. Right, uh, switch out, switch out, quick, quick, quick. Right, let's switch out to Ollie. Let's get some magic in, bro. Oh, actually, eat some food. Sandwich. Oh, dearie me. That really didn't do that much. Uh, oh, no. Foul fumes. Evade, evade. 
All right, okay. Switch out to Kangi, maybe? Jesus Christ. I don't really know what I'm doing here. No, 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 that one. Psych up. Oh, you also have the problem as well is if you run into the bubbles, then you take a lot of damage from it. Oh, nice. That's it. Just go, go ape on him. Golden Glim, Golden Glim, Golden Glim, Kangi time. Oh, supercharge. Oh, Kangi. We're about to lay out some primal roar on this badass. Let's go. Yeah, there's no stopping this, mate. You are done, son. <laughs> oh, look at that. 87. And another Golden Glim as well. Let's just keep racking these up. Supercharged. I don't even care about my health right now. Another Primal Roar will do. Give us another 87. That'll do. Thank you very much. Right, let's switch out to, uh, to this one. Evade. Oh, balls. No. Oh, I ran out just... At the worst time possible. I'm probably going to take a lot of damage for this. Because Sappy doesn't have the best defense. Uh, there you go. Good. Oh, snap. Uh, switch out to Ollie. Ollie, we need a healing touch or something. Healing touch. Oh, dear me. We're going to have to do a few of these. Unless we have some good provisions. Or a green glim. That'll do. Provisions. Let's see what we've got. Oh, that's getting a bit close there. Right, Provisions. Let me just eat this quickly for a quick heal. Uh, oh, no. No, 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 no. We'll stay away from that. Thank you very much. Right. I know I said I wasn't going to use it, but I'll use, I'll use Smash Hit instead. There you go. Good. That'll do. Cool. Let's just keep attacking away. Oh, uh, hold on a second. Hard heart and evade. Oh, no. I didn't have time to evade. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to take a big damage for that. 20. 24. All right. All right. Switch out to Ollie. Uh, spell. Healing touch. There we go. Cool. Oh, there's mana there. There you go. Oh, no, 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 no. Back up, back up, back up. Should we use a spell? Let's use fireball. See how that fares against it. That'll do. That's cool. That's just a bit of smoke. More spellage, I reckon. Fireball. There we go. Now switch out to a familiar. There we go. I could probably do a Kangi, actually, to rack in a couple of hits. I'm just going to keep an eye out for what Drippy's throwing out as well. That's it. Oh, back it up, Strippy. All right, cool. Switch out to this. And... Yes, cool. Evaded just in time. Beautiful stuff. No damage. Thank you. Right, let's switch out to Kangi. Psych yourself up, bro. And now you're going to go ape. Oh, yeah. Oh, snap. That was very unfortunate. <laughs> very, very unfortunate. I got pretty close, actually. Most of these boss battles are taking me like two or three attempts. But I was sure I had that then. Bugger. All right. 10% of my money lost. God damn. All right. Do we take the risk? I really want to take the risk of letting Ollie try and like hit him with his stick to finish him off. But I don't think it will pay off in my favor. Right. It's balls to it. Let's go for it. Let's just attack him. Let's just punch him with my, with my stick. Yes! Yes! Oh, is that going to work? Just keep hitting him, Ollie. Just keep hitting him with your stick. You got it. You got it. You got it. Just keep going. Just keep going. You've only got 40 health. No, no, leg it, leg it, leg it, leg it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. if he had hit with it, if enough of those, he probably would have got us then. Jesus, right. Let's finish it with some cut loose balls to it. That's it. We're done. <laughs> I was very, very close to dying there. If he had hit that little windmill attack, I would have been a dead man or a dead boy. There you go. Nightmare defeated! Booyah! What kind of experience did we get from that? That was my third attempt, by the way. Thought I'd let you know how long it took me. And some triple dingage on the field. Surprised Ollie didn't ding off that fight. 320 gil, 320 XP for everybody. Kangi, Sappy, and Strippy. Oh, Sappy learned healing tier. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right. Honey! I told you it to eat the salmon. Oh, my God. No, Betty, stay away from me. What? His heart's still broken. What the hell? Uh, of course it is. We only got rid of the nightmare, man. Mending his heart is a whole other problem. Um, okay, these nightmares. What exactly are they? Well, they're sort of like beasties. Only they're born from broken hearts. Uh, and they latch onto them and sort of possess them, see? And Shadar is behind the nightmares too as well, or...? Look at him, Ollie boy. Him and Rashad are like peas from the same pod, ain't it? Okay, cool. 
Uh, what, what what Shender Hart's done is he's got what he's got the better of Rashad over in our world by attacking his soulmate over by here in your world. Right, okay. Just attacking people in our world for no good reason. Looks like it, eh? And if we don't mend his heart, he might get taken over by another nightmare. We need to sort this out quick, Ollie boy. You saw what it was like before, ain't it? Uh, it's pretty obvious that he's missing his man-sized helping of kindness. Where do we find a man-sized helping of kindness? That's right. Anyone overflowing with the milk of human kind, the milk of human kind. What? Wow. Okay. Spring to mind, Ollie boy. <laughs> a real kind person. Oh, she's kind, isn't she? She's a little bit overkind. Well, well, well. Sometimes the things you are looking for just plonks itself right down in front of your doorstep. Here's lucky. I guess so. Right. So how do we tell her we're going to take her heart? Do we just do it. Do we just uh, secretly take it from behind. Let me see. We just. Let me just take her heart. Nothing happened. Booker. Um, let me speak to her. <laughs> You're Ali's son. Yeah, that, we're right. Or I was Ali's son. Ali's gone now. Uh, Mrs. Cartwright, can I borrow a little of your kindness? What? Right, okay. She hasn't got a clue what we're on about. Like, she trusts... Oh, my God. People in this world are very, like, trusting, aren't they? Take heart. Why is she just saying, oh, you're being a stupid kid, go away? I mean, I guess it's because Ali died, so... I guess she feels bad for the kid. The warm, fuzzy gift of generosity. You obtained some kindness. Fantastic. I feel almost warm inside. Oh, <laughs> hello. Tidy. That means it worked, did it? Now give it to Rusty. There's a good lad. Right, okay. So she's worried that I made her feel warm inside. And he's probably lying there thinking, what the hell did he just do to my missus? <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, my God. Betty, just, just leave me alone, will you? Come on, man. Hurry up. Hand over the kindness before we have another flipping nightmare on our hands. All right. Give heart. Pretty sure I won't have to select which kind. Oh, no, maybe I will. There you go. We've still got some enthusiasm to spare if you need some of that as well. There we go. <laughs> Steady on, Trippy. Falling over in the background. Ugh, what are you doing? Ugh. Oh, look at him. He's all better now. Betty, what am I doing here? Did you do something with your hair? Oh, Rusty! <laughs> you look very handsome yourself, honey. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Tidy, it worked! Ah, uh, marital bliss, eh, Ollie boy? That there's lovely. Uh, excuse me. Oi! What do you think you are doing? This is no time for to be interrupting. Let's leave him to it and go tell Myrtle everything's back to normal with her folks, shall we? Uh, okay. I guess so. She's not going to take our word for it, though, is she? We'll leave these two to, uh... So kissy kissy in the garage. Right, well I tell you what, we'll leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching. Check out the next episode, which is going to be on Wednesday, where we'll go and tell Myrtle exactly what the crack is now between her parents, because they're getting it on in the garage. <laughs> bye bye.